Hello, space explorers. Imagine traveling so far from Earth that the sun is just a tiny, freezing dot in the sky. You've passed Pluto, passed the Voyager probes, and entered a realm of absolute darkness. This isn't just empty space. You're at the gates of the Ur Cloud, a colossal shell of billions of icy monsters surrounding our solar system. It's the edge of everything we know. Today, we're crossing that line to see what's hiding in the deep freeze of the galaxy. Ready? Scale and distance. To understand the Ur Cloud, we have to talk about scale. If the distance from the Sun to Earth was just one centimeter, the Ur Cloud wouldn't start for another 50 meters. It's so far that it takes light itself the fastest thing in the universe nearly a year to reach its inner edge. It's not just a ring. It's a massive 3D bubble made of space ice and ancient debris, sitting in the gravitational tug of war between our sun and other stars. The frozen sentinels, what's actually out there? Think of it as a cosmic graveyard. Trillions of icy objects, some the size of mountains, others as big as cities, have been floating here for 4.5 billion years. These are the leftovers from the birth of the planets. They were kicked out to the suburbs of the solar system by the gravity of giants like Jupiter and Neptune. They've been waiting in the dark ever since, perfectly preserved in a deep, cosmic deep freeze. The birth of comets, every now and then, something disturbs this silent graveyard. A passing star or a galactic ripple nudges an icy rock, and it begins to fall. It tumbles toward the sun, picking up speed over millions of years. As it gets closer, it heats up, grows a glowing tail, and becomes a comet. Most of the famous long-period comets we see from Earth the ones that only appear once every few thousand years started their journey right here, in the Oort Cloud. Far far out and the border. Before we hit the main cloud, we pass far far out. Currently the most distant object we've ever detected in our solar system, it's a pinkish, icy world sitting 132 times further from the Sun than Earth. But even far far out is just a neighbor compared to the Oort Cloud. Beyond this point, the Sun's light is 10,000 times dimmer. We are entering a zone where the solar wind stops and interstellar space truly begins. This is the ultimate frontier. The Invisible Fortress One of the strangest things about the Oort Cloud is that we've never actually seen it directly. Because it's so far and the objects are so dark, no telescope can capture a wide photo of it. We know it exists because of mathematical models and the comets that come from it. It's like a massive, invisible fortress. We are living inside a giant bubble of ice, and we only realized it by watching the visitors that occasionally escape from it. Gravity's last stand. At these distances, the sun's gravity is incredibly weak. It's a delicate balance. Objects in the Oort Cloud are so loosely held that even the gravity of the Milky Way galaxy itself can tug on them. This is called the galactic tide. Imagine a giant ocean wave made of gravity, slowly rippling through the cloud, shifting the orbits of trillions of ice rocks. It's a slow motion dance on a scale that's hard to even imagine. The ghost of Planet 9. Could something huge be hiding out there? Many scientists believe a massive Planet 9 might be lurking in the darkness beyond the Cooper Belt, nearing the inner edge of the Oort Cloud. If it exists, its gravity would explain why some distant objects have such weird, tilted orbits. This is one of the biggest unsolved mysteries. Is there a giant, dark world waiting to be discovered in our own backyard? Passing stars and chaos. Space isn't as empty as it looks. Every few million years, a neighboring star passes close to our solar system. When this happens, it's like a cosmic bowling ball hitting the Oort cloud. The star's gravity can send a rain of comets screaming toward Earth. Scientists have traced mass extinctions in Earth's history to these events. The Oort Cloud isn't just a silent observer. It's a loaded spring that can change the history of life on our planet. The temperature of nothing. How cold is it in the Oort Cloud? We're talking about temperatures near absolute zero around minus 260 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, gases like methane and carbon monoxide turn into solid ice. If you stood on an Oort Cloud object, you'd see a sky filled with stars that never twinkle, and a sun that looks no different from any other star. It's a silent, frozen world where time seems to have stopped since the beginning of the solar system. Voyager's Long Journey Think about Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object. Even though it's been traveling at 38,000 miles per hour for nearly 50 years, it hasn't even reached the Oort Cloud yet. 
It will take another 300 years just to hit the inner edge, and about 30,000 years to come out the other side. This shows how small our fastest technology is compared to the true size of our solar home. We are still just babies taking our first steps into the driveway. Cosmic Time Capsules Scientists call these icy rocks time capsules, because they've been frozen for billions of years, they contain the original ingredients that built Earth, Mars, and the Sun. When we study a comet from the Oort cloud, we are looking at the DNA of our solar system. Some theories even suggest that these comets brought water and the chemical building blocks of life to Earth during its early years. We might literally be made of Oort cloud stuff. The inner versus outer cloud. The Oort cloud is actually split into two parts. The inner part is shaped like a donut, called the Hills Cloud. The outer part is a perfect sphere that wraps around everything. The outer shell is so fragile that passing stars can actually steal objects from us, or we might steal objects from them. That's right some comets in our sky might have actually been born around a completely different star billions of years ago. The Nemesis Theory There was once a wild theory that the Sun had a secret twin a small, dark star named Nemesis, Every 26 million years, Nemesis would pass through the Oort cloud and trigger a comet storm. While most scientists now think Nemesis doesn't exist, the search for it led to incredible discoveries about the dark corners of our space. It shows that even a wrong idea can help us map the unknown and find things we never expected. Interstellar Travelers In 2017, an object called Amormoa screamed through our solar system. It wasn't from the Oort cloud, it was from another star system entirely. But it proved that objects can travel between stars. The Ur cloud is like a giant cosmic exchange zone, it's the place where our solar system ends and the rest of the galaxy begins. It's a bridge of ice connecting us to the billions of other suns in the Milky Way. Future missions, will we ever visit the Ur cloud? With current rockets, it's impossible, but new technologies like light sails, Probes pushed by giant lasers could reach these distances in just a few decades instead of centuries. Imagine a tiny camera flying past a 4 billion year old comet, sending back the first ever close-up photos of the edge of our world. That's the future of space exploration, and it might happen in your lifetime. A perspective shift, learning about the Oort cloud changes how you see her. We aren't just a planet in a vacuum. We are part of a massive, complex structure that stretches trillions of miles into the dark. It's a reminder that there is so much more to discover. When you look up at a comet, you aren't just seeing a light in the sky you're seeing a messenger from the deepest, coldest part of our cosmic neighborhood. The Ur cloud is the ultimate mystery, it's a wall of ice, a graveyard of history, and a bridge to the stars. As we continue to point our telescopes toward the dark, who knows what else we'll find. Maybe Planet 9, Maybe evidence of other worlds, or maybe just more questions. Thanks for traveling to the edge of the solar system with us today. See you, space explorers.